Hey guys, Steve Petrato here from Blade. In this video, we are going to perform accelerometer calibration. This kind of maintenance is going to be helpful if you have either replaced the main board or your 350QX has been through a few crashes and is drifting in a hover. It's a good idea to do this calibration every so often for optimum performance. Make sure that your propellers are balanced and that there isn't anything else causing the drifting before doing this calibration. You will need your 350QX, transmitter, and a flight battery for this calibration. Since we have to fly the 350QX for this calibration, you will want to be in a large flying area, and it's recommended you do this outside. We are going to place the 350QX into the accelerometer calibration mode and fly the model while trimming out any drifts we see. If the model is drifting one direction, we are going to add trim in the opposite direction. For example, if it's drifting left, we would give a couple of clicks of right trim. During calibration, the 350QX will be averaging what it senses in flight compared to what you are telling it to find true level flight. To get started with the calibration, place the flight battery inside the 350QX and turn it on and allow it to enter bind mode indicated by the rapid blinking blue light. Then we are going to bind the transmitter with the cyclic stick in the down position. Next we will start the motors, flip into agility mode, and you will notice the status LED is now flashing red, blue, and green. The 350QX will feel like it's in stability mode even though you are in the agility mode switch position. You're going to want to fly the 350QX at about eye level to see what direction it's drifting. It's best to do this on a calm day so that it's easier to tell if the model is actually drifting or if the wind is just pushing it. Provide trim so that the 350QX no longer drifts significantly in any direction. Once you've got it into a nice level hover, fly the model for about 10 seconds or until the LED flashes slower. This is the signal that the data collection is complete. Once we have verified that the 350QX no longer drifts, we can land the model and turn off the propellers. To save the current settings, we will zero out the trims that we used and restart the motors. Now, we will take back off and check for drifting one more time. If there are no drifts, then it's time to land, turn off the propellers, and give a left-right, left-right input to save settings. Power cycle the 350QX, and the calibration of the accelerometer should now be complete.